Hey guys, so believe it or not, we're approximately five months away from the next generation iPhone to be released. Apple typically releases new iPhones towards September and October timeframe. So what I wanted to share with you guys today is a special video on the first dummy model units representing what the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 will look like when Apple releases these devices later this year. Obviously, these are going to be dummy models representing the new design based on the latest cat leaks and information. So let's get right into the packaging. Obviously, classic dummy model packaging as as you can see right there straight from China so let's get into the box I've already cut the tape open to make it easier and let's get inside of the packaging this is going to be the first time I look at these devices as I unbox them with you guys on camera so I believe this is going to be the iPhone 16 and this is going to be the 16 Pro Max so let's go ahead and talk about the iPhone 16 Pro Max first let's talk about some of the latest physical changes happening this year with these devices so with the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max it is rumored that Apple will retain the same colors silver white black and it's rumored to be adding a new rose gold option for the 16 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. Now, there's a few physical changes happening here this year. Number one, obviously the cameras will get better. The sensors will get slightly larger as you take a look there in comparison with the iPhone 15 Pro Max there. And uh, we also have a rumor that Apple will be focusing a lot on cameras, so much so that they will be adding a physical capture button for the cameras on the iPhone 16 this year. So the iPhone 16 Pro will have this, what's rumored to be a solid state button to the frame of the iPhone specifically for the camera so you can capture videos and photos by holding your iPhone sideways and then pressing on the button to capture. Now it is rumored that this will be pressure sensitive so if you soft press you can use that for focus, hard press would actually capture video or photos so all these buttons are rumored to be solid state this year meaning that they're not physical moving parts but actually just buttons representations and software and haptics inside of the device will give you the sensation that you're pressing on the buttons and this is rumored to happen to all the buttons on the iPhone from the volume rocker to the actual action button the new capture button and the side button for Siri these buttons are rumored to be the new solid state buttons which will provide you feedback using software and haptics inside of the iPhone so no more moving parts according to some of the latest reports. Now Apple is also rumored to be changing or switching from a brushed titanium to more of a shiny titanium. So basically on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, one of my favorite looking devices, we have this sort of shiny stainless steel going around the device, which in my opinion gives it sort of a premium look. So Apple, I guess, is going with a more shinier titanium on the Pro models this year for the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. So again, new physical button for capture right here. The screen size may increase ever so slightly. It is rumored that Apple is pushing the bezels out just slightly once again, so we could see increase in size. It is basically similar as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, as you can see right there, aside from the new capture button, the solid state new design for all the buttons, the perhaps shiny titanium, and as you can see right there, the screen, we can't really test yet because obviously these are dummy models, but the screens may be slightly larger this year for the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. So those are gonna be some of the physical changes happening on the Pro lineup. But the iPhone 16 has been a bit more controversial because the actual camera module on this one is set to be dramatically changed. And in terms of colors, Apple is set to be going with the exact same colors as last year for the iPhone 16. So if you want a little more color on your device, you're gonna have to go with the 16 or 16 plus. But the same capture button could be coming to the iPhone 16 and 16 plus. Again, you hold your iPhone sideways, you have a physical button there to press to capture videos and photos. But take a look at that camera module. Take a look at those sensors, the flash right there. So this reminds me of a hybrid between an iPhone 11 and iPhone 10. So if you put these two sensors together, I think this is what you get. And basically that is the look that Apple is going for this year with the iPhone 16. Again, this has been the most controversial look that is rumored to be coming to the iPhone 16. Now the actual frame is set to remain the same with a deep brush titanium to differentiate the devices from the Pro and non-Pro models. Screen size, again, once again, rumored to get slightly larger as Apple 
Apple pushes the screen out to the edges a little more this year. But in terms of additional physical changes, of course, USB-C will remain. Everything else will remain aside from some of the changes already mentioned. And there you guys have it. Just a quick first look at the next generation iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. Let me know what you think about some of the new changes happening with the iPhone this year. Are you interested? Are you excited? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.